those two pounds of lead do hang on. And that's finished. Right then, uh, it's morning, it's about 5.50. I'm off to Weymouth where I'm going to go and fish for blonde rays and bream. Mackerel fishing again. Robin talking about his gear. Yeah, 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 probably is. I think this might be a pouting though. Scad, hard on the bottom. Work, chuck it in the chuck it in the box, please. Hmm? Started a fight with the first real coat right? Look, this is a lovely reel. This is a good breaming reel, this. It's a good breaming reel. This reel that Adam is mocking is the Calcutta Conquest 200 f which is a tiny little did look at this diddy little reel, look at it. It's tiny. Can you see that? Tiny. Okay, first drop down for the Londres. Always very exciting this bit. Yes, that's what you're going for. A small eyed rays, that's what I'm targeting. I'm much more um, now than they are. Yeah, a, there seems to be quite a few rays making a comeback. Just not the blonde rays here. There aren't any. So apparently, there's a series of puffins here, is that right? Yes, three or four. And we're fishing on one of them, or up one of them, or down one of them, or. Oh, look at that. Is that a huss? No. <laughs> it's a dogfish. Look at that lovely dogfish. Can you see that? Uh, bigger than that. Three pounds, I think. Or 212. Yeah, it's a big dogfish. Well, it's rubbish here. Do you want me to watch it? We'll throw it over. Sorry, you're getting a bite. No, you're not. <coughs> no, you're not. So you're, no, you're not. I don't believe it. It's not sizable, though. Throw it back. And, unless it is sizable, in which case I'll have it. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, there's a bite. Yep, another bite. It's lovely. I am filming. I am filming myself. Give me an hour. Thanks for that tip. Where did that come from? Teddy Tubbies? Tubby Tusted. Tubby Tusted. But, no, it's squeaking, it's the squeaking in my, um, in my butt pad. It's, uh, it's no better. Yeah, uh, I might have to have an operation. Uh, we're all in together. Whose fish is it? It looks like mine. Yeah. Oh, oh, 
There we go. Okay, let's get that back. It's alright, I'm gonna do it. Right then. And off it goes down into the depths. Okay, so you bait up for Londres. Take a fillet. This is a scared. Normally I'd use metro. Filleting it very badly. Okay. appears to be into a fish. He did fanny around a lot to start with, but he's now got a bit serious. Is it? Oh, you're saying all the right things. Oh, look at that double figures at least. Uh, might go nine. Hold it up for the camera. Hold it up for this camera. Much more important. Yeah. So Chris has now finally worked out that he's playing a fish. Yeah, now Chris has got me. Yeah, we're all in it together. Hooray! Hang on, which side do I want to go? That side, I think, yeah. I'm in with Chris, somehow. Don't know how, unless... Well, I do know how. This fish has swum around my line. It's not my weight, but oh, yes, I'll weight. grab the weight. Sorry, I don't mean to be such a yeah, cunt. No, I just right. am a cunt. Uh, yeah, I'll have a picture. I'll leave that in. Thanks, you yeah, know, that's good. I'll, I'll do this. Oops. Oh, no. I win. Don't worry about the boat, Steve. 
it's got another one. <laughs> it's only just hatched. Yeah, I've got a fish. I've got a bream. Yeah. This is not this kind of this rod is not really designed for fishing with a pound of lead. No, it is far. What do you mean, her? I mean, sort of. Like... Don't throw it back. It's live, baby. Well, last last Mayfly time, not this not this year, last year, there were a number of really big fish rising in the hatch pool in the garden, and um, I caught one, four pounds, lovely big trout, beautiful. Caught another one about. Three days later, looked at the photographs and went, oh, the fuck, it's the same fish. <laughs> Caught it four times in total. Yeah. Yeah. On four different flies. <laughs> it's like the last one was on a nymph. I was going, I'll never catch it now. But I did. Didn't catch any of the other big ones, even though some of them, from the look of their eyes, were bigger. No. Well, for it is, it's a very little poor cord. Poor cord. There we go. Oh, that's a big poor cord. That... What, well, Adam, what's our record poor cord? By my reckoning. Okay, no, the record's five. Back you go. Three and three quarters, as near as we can we can reckon. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, a good poor cod, but not a record poor cod. Can you hold that up for the camera? Look at that, that's a nice huss. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I think it's either a pouting or a, t a, s a tiny bream. Don't worry about the net. Oh, it's another scad. That is a big scad. That's even bigger than your scad. Oh, spiky little fuckers they are. That is a scad or a horse mackerel. Quite a big one, about 10 ounces. Okay, well, let's... I think this is a bream. Yeah, this is a bream. Uh, it's not bad. It's only better than the pouting I've caught. It felt quite big to start with, but um, it could be it was two and it's now only one. Oh, two bream, double header. Yeah, double header. Get, get, the, get the big one. Or get them get both. Two. Get them both. That is how you do it. So what you do is you leap on, oh. come out of there, and then out of there, and then you can go back, and then you can go back. Right then.
Bye bye, Mr. Bream. Very nice fish. Oh dear. Oof. I might try that again. Just tie it to the side of the boat. I'll edit this bit out, don't worry. Yeah, thanks. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. But I have had the only double header of the day. Just want to point yes, that out. Yeah. Yeah. Double shot net. Double shot, that's right, that's what they call me. Uh, another nice day. Lots of small and medium sized blondes. Quite a few small and, and, and open, not bad sized bream. Some husks. Gurnet. All sorts of exciting things. Scad. Poor cod. Oh, yeah, those poor cod. They don't off go. Yeah, it was good fun.